So for this midday, we felt like eating lettuce. Look how yummy they look. And I'm going to show you another thing. See all of these? All of those sayotes have names on them already for Thursday. So uh, people are ordering from us to uh, deliver vegetables to them. So we're going to deliver them uh, lettuce. Uh, uh, we're going to deliver them a uh, sayote. We're going to deliver them to them uh, our local spinach, and uh, we're going to uh, deliver to them French beans. Hi, we are in our kitchen now. As you can see, what I'm cooking now is the uh, the broccoli here, the green one, and our cauliflower. These are the the remnants of the of the too much rain here in Sinai. I'm now uh, uprooting our French beans because they have been here for a couple of months already and they are becoming old. The reason why I'm doing this is for other crops not to be in danger because uh, when crops become old they become very susceptible to pests. So. What we need to do is to uproot them before pests uh, would attack them and uh, pose danger to your other crops. And uh, we stand corrected uh, when, because we were telling before that in your regular market, uh, French beans are sold 60 pesos per 100 grams. But that's the very old price. <laughs> now it's sold at 100 pesos for 100 grams. So it's like one peso per gram. So we have been selling our French beans very cheap. So <laughs> we, we need to rethink our prices <laughs> because, uh, yeah, we will not uh, be. Uh, very happy if uh, other people are selling it for 100 pesos per 100 grams and we're selling it for 50 pesos so I think uh, we're going to uh, rethink our prices hey hey you are planting for the moment some crops that turn over quite fast so that it's easy to sell them uh, and they're nice. So right now, this afternoon, I'm planting here bok choy. So they are small plants, there, but already putting them in the ground because it's time. So we just put them nicely in. See that the roots, you see the roots, they remain nicely intact because of this multi-cell tray. See, I take it out with a little spoon. And you see, they're nicely together and put them, oh, that's too much. Should be right, the right height so that the growth point stays on top of the soil. So that's what we do today. So I just finished uh, planting jalapenos. So we discovered that jalapenos are not really hot. Uh, they're not really spicy, but they add a lot of flavor when you use them for cooking. So uh, it adds flavor. That's, uh, it, it, it takes, it's hard to explain, but it makes your food tastes, uh, taste good. And uh, just beside our jalapenos are our papayas. So, uh, they are planted in, planted in one of our beds, so we're just waiting for them to, to ripen and uh, we're going to use uh, this bed as well after we approve uh, the remainder of their uh, trunks or stumps. So papaya, when it's still green like this, is very rich or abundant in papain. 
Papa Paint promotes uh, digestion and healing. So uh, we believe that that's the content of uh, most whitening soaps that they use because it's uh, made out of papaya. So I, we think that the papain content of papaya helps uh, heal the damaged cells of our skin. I think making it appear to turn white. But when papaya becomes ripe, it uh, will be abundant uh, of uh, beta-carotene. Beta-carotene promotes uh, good eyesight. Uh, what else? Uh, papaya, when it's uh, really ripe, when it's ripe already, it promotes digestion. Actually, it uh, helps you uh, release yourself. I'm not going to discuss why some priests eat papaya because uh, it's just uh, like uh, an urban legend. The reason why some priests eat papaya. But anyway, so we're waiting for them to ripen. And uh, actually, we can already take it out now and uh, use it for uh, tinola. Again, tinola. That's a, a Filipino staple where you can put a lot of vegetables that you want to put in. Anyway, till the next episode of our reality TV.